Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy. I'm in a great mood today because today's video, I'm going to show you guys Zark, baby. Let's go. Zark deck profile and comp tutorial. And before you turn off the video and think, oh, Zark sucks, Dream Zark sucks, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up with your one to eight ass Dragon Link deck, okay? This deck puts up Mighty Master Vortex Jackal with the Zark. Not in the monster zone, but in the scale. Let's go! Zark best deck. Oh, cool board, bro. But what's it do going second, man? Oh, I don't know. Mighty Master clear your board. Axis code clear your board. Zark clear your board. Oh, I'm gonna forget it. Zeus! With the Time Star Magicians, clear the whole board. What deck do you know plays four foreign wipes going second that are searchable by your entire deck? Uh, I don't know. Zark, baby. Let's go. So is this deck great going first? Yes. Is this deck great going second? Yes. Is this deck a meta contender? Yes. So you guys are ready for the most hyped Zark video of all time. You're going to smash the subscribe button right now. And you're going to do something else. You're going to go down below in the description. And I want to give a big shout out to Meta Mats. Who they are sponsoring today's video. If you want to go get the sickest playmats after my playmats, because mine are the best, but you know, meta mats are also the best, then go check out down below. You get 10% off all your mats. If you want to get 0% off mats, then you can go to my website where you don't get a discount, but you can still get cool mats down below in the description. Check them out and I'll go straight into this video, boys. It is time to ride my flying dragon, the pen god's flying dragon, his favorite pet. After Mia, of course, I'm sorry. Oh my god, you're so fucking cute. And it is time to fly my flying pet dragon to victory. Let's go, baby. It's our time. <laughs> Zark time, boys! Let's go! Who's hyped for this video? If you're hyped for this video, you smash the subscribe button right now. We're almost at 40k. Let's go. First things first, we're gonna go over Crowley here. And make sure to stay tuned until the end of the whole video, boys. I'm gonna show you guys right now how to do Zark every hand. You're gonna put up crazy boards like I showed you guys. This even sucked, bro. Look at this. I put the abductor first. I even drew the blue boy after this knowledge. But what? I don't even care. We're gonna pen call here. We're gonna do some heads up play. We're gonna get white wing instead here. I'm gonna do some really cool plays, man. Some really cool plays. I'm gonna link that off. Sorry, I don't link with the crash. I just pendulum summon. After your pendulum summon, you make meteor burst. You make time star. Time star searches uh, the mighty master. You want to save that crash. That's why I didn't do it. Go Celine here, and then you Celine special that. Make uh, we're gonna make absolute, and then special the black fang. Make another time star here. Crash vortex. Look at this. Time star search. You could use Chronogast effect from hand, which is insane. And then we have everything in the graveyard. Abomination at the end phase will pop the Zark. Zark says that it cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects, but it could be by yours. So you pop it with the Abomination, it goes to the, the scale, and you now have Floodgate. When it's in the scale, just so you guys are aware what this does in the scale, Fusion, Synchro, and XYZ monsters your opponent control cannot activate their effects. Nice Dragoon, nice Needle Fiber combos, nice any Zeus deck. Got by! Bye, see ya, good game, and you're not even done there. Once per turn, when a card is added from the main deck to, from your, to your opponent's hand, destroy it. Nice searching, bro. Nice searching, nice drawing, later. And then on top of that, you're backed up with four negates here. Zark and four negates, turn one, and we open zero spell cards. They're literally not even in good hand. We open zero spell cards. Yes, you open Servant, but we have zero spell cards. And we still pulled it off. I'm going to show you guys another, another combo now. And if you guys like what you see, for our boy, the Flying Pet Dragon Zark, you guys got to smash the subscribe button, boys. Let's go. I'm going to show you guys right now the next two combo tutorials. And then I'm going to show you guys the deck profile after that. Let's go. This is combo number two here. This one, we hard draw Metal Force Fusion. Yes, I play Metal Force Fusion. Why do I play Metal Force Fusion? You're playing so many ways to discard it. You're playing Souls. You're playing Pen Call. You're playing so many of them. And as you see here... We don't draw one, hence I wanted to show you guys a brickier hand. A hand where, yes, you have a dead metal card in your hand. The last hand, we didn't open any spell cards, but it was still a decent hand. You just want you to pop a Mighty Master. You're totally fine, but guys, like, this deck is insane. You're playing 13 draw cards, none of which are desires, and it's so consistent. So many ways to draw into your power cards. This one, same combo. And then Jackal Master, Abomination, Zark. 
and your opponent can't do anything. Going second, you have the board wipe of Zark. You have the board wipe of Mighty Master. This could have been an Axis Code Talker and a board wipe. And you have also the Zeus, which you could have attacked with a Time Star and slap it on and board wipe. And then do your combo after you board wipe. That's amazing about this deck, how powerful it is going second, how powerful it is going first. If you guys want to see actual duels with this, make sure to go check out my Patreon down below, where I will be showing duels with this Zark deck uh, later on the Patreon. Anyways, let's go to combo number three. Combo number three, let's go. So this one, we open a lot of spells, but it's going to end up putting a similar board as all the rest. You don't really need spells. Here, we draw Metal Pulse Fusion again, but here we have the Souls and the Pen Call, showcasing the power of the Metal Pulse Fusion. Obviously, you're playing Foolish Bear, they're good, so we don't want to hard draw the Fusion, but even if you hard draw your Brick, you're fine. Here, we go a Pen Call. We did it with a cool play there, where we use Alliance into the Double Iris, which is totally legal because Pendulum Dragon is in its name, and it's just totally fantastic to have in your deck. Here, we had an opportunity to Meteor Burst if we wanted to. Meteor Burst is huge in this deck. Time Star literally makes this deck so easy to make your combo. We Meteor Burst then and there. We go Crashy Vortex. And we're going to go Chronograph Effect. And we get ourselves that. Mighty Master. Boom. Another one. This is Vortex, Jackal, Abomination, and Zark in the scale. This is just another example of how broken this deck is going first. Going second, you literally just use your four board wipes that I mentioned. And every other card, like your Pendulum Summon is a bait. Your Souls are baits. Your Crowley is a bait. Your Selene is a bait. You don't give up. You don't care. You have uh, eight ways into Jackal King to stop from Nibiru. Eight ways. You have the Jackal itself. You have four Servants to get the Jackal. And you have three Abductors. And we play a lot, a lot, a lot of spell cards in this deck to ensure that that happens. So those are the three combat tutorials. And I'll show you guys right now the deck profile right now. Let's go. I told you guys this deck will work. I told you. I told you, bro. Zark best deck. Let's go. This thing works, man. And big kudos to myself for having a gigantic brain, baby. Because without that brain of mine, this deck will not be possible. So if we scroll back a little bit, and you guys saw the common tutorials, we consistently put up Jackal King, Mighty Master, Abomination, and Zark, not in the monster zone, which doesn't do fuck all, but in the scale where it stops your opponent from playing. Broken. And on the Vortex sometimes. Anyways, I'll discuss everything in depth. Stay tuned for the entire entire description of all my cards here because it'll give you a distinct reasoning as to why you need to play them. There's a reason to why I'm playing two poison and one of each. There's a reason to everything here. So before we do get started into this video, I want to give again another big shout out here to MetaMats who uh, are sponsoring this video here. If you guys want to get any of their cool play mats, you get 10% off their, their off their play mats on the, the description down below. So go do so now. Anyways, let's go. So servant triple abductor. Uh, one Jackal, Triple Master. The reason a Triple Master, I probably said in the deck profile, or the couple tutorials, I told you guys, you need something that leaves the scale and that ensures Abomination could pop your Zark and Zark will go in the scale. Master can also pop the Zark. Going second, I've mentioned this already. This deck has four literal huge board wipes. You have a Mighty Master board wipe. You have a Zeus pro, uh, bro, uh, board wipe, which is released now. You have the Zark board wipe and you have the Axis Code board wipe. So you have four legitimate wipe the entire board away cards, which is absolutely busted. So if your first method doesn't work, you just go through the next one. And that makes going second so easy. And that's why you have side tech choices like Dark Ruler and Droplet. So I do want to max some of the Mighty Masters and the Masteries to ensure that it's in the scale. Not just for the fact of board wiping, but for the main fact of ensuring that Azar could get in the scale after you blow up your opponent's board and going second or going first to make it going first a floodgate. Because Zark on the field doesn't do shit without being in the scale. It being in the scale is a pendulum floodgate that stops your opponent. Chronograph's the same idea. You need to have Chronograph or Mighty Master in the scale to make sure the, the Zark actually gets into the scale. You don't want the Zark just sitting there. Now, this is a huge Magician count, right? But it does not brick at all. You actually want to open them. So, out of these three, four, five, six, seven, eight, even Time Gazer counts because you just Meteor Burst the scale in. To the under the monster zone you have nine magicians here with six pendulum calls that's 15 magicians if you open two of the 15 magicians you have zark that's literally how easy it is i've never seen a deck in history that if you open two of 15 magicians you have zark if your opponent hand traps you forget zark just put up multiple in the gates and typically honestly if it's like a valor imprimer and ash you're still putting up zark uh anyways uh, the reasoning behind three harmonizing is you need to open a harmonizing. Without opening harmonizing panko or duelist alliance, you will not be able to get Zark out. But nine of them with so many draw power, so much draw power in this deck, eleven draw cards, you're gonna get it. 
uh, you play double poison for a reason. So, out of these cards, you're not allowed to scale double iris, black fang, or white wing unless you meteor burst it away. So sometimes you could do it. You're not allowed to banish it with a lore. Sometimes a lore, you have to pin call a card for a lore, and then a lore one of the cards you got. You could definitely a lore or scale the harmonizing, but that's why you have a card that's a low scale that's part of the Zark combo, which none of these cards could be a lord. So now you could, if you need a low scale, you could scale the purple poison if you don't draw your servant or abductor. So even in hands where you don't draw servant, abductor, or mastery, your low scale is going to be the searchable purple poison, uh, which you get from pen call. That's why it's specifically purple poison. It's a low scale. You could make it white wing if you want, but purple poison is just better. We're not playing needle fiber. We're just putting out Zark with negates here. Uh, two souls. In retrospect, you could play one. You could play three. It's not a huge, really good card here, but it synergizes very well with the Metal Pulse Fusion. I believe, firmly believe, that if you're playing Magicians, what are you going to do? Pen call nothing? Get some value out of the pen call. Like, why don't you pen call the Metal Pulse Fusion if you try? Why don't you discard a card for Zark to make pen Zark even easier? Pen call is broken in this. And the reason why people are wondering, the first thing people want to say looking at this list is you see double iron, so no pendulum graph. Well, pay attention here. It's important. Uh, you don't care about the pendulum graph. You're putting out fucking Zark, boys. You don't need the pendulum graph. The pendulum graphs brick your whole point of making Zark. This is a Zark deck, and it's legitimately competitive. Now, Duelist, the whole point of playing the double iris is not just for Zark, but Duelist Alliance searches the double iris, and that is very, very important. Because when you open pen call, Duelist Alliance, Duelist Alliance, you're going to have three pen call cards, right? But no, no, no. Duelist Alliance would just search the double iris, which is possible, because it has Pendulum Dragon in its literal name. This card is always treated as a Pendulum Dragon card. It's like the Onomatopoeia cards. The Utopia on Utopia, whatever the hell you pronounce that card, is always a Zozo Zo, Bo Bo Bo, Go Go Go, whatever the hell all those cards are. So you could use any one of those cards to search it, or special it, etc. Same idea here. Uh, so you must play the double iris for Duelist Alliance to search it, and it makes uh, Zark even fucking easier. You can go one time, if you open Duelist Alliance on Pen Call, you don't Pen Call the Duelist Alliance away. You Duelist Alliance into Double Iris, and you Pen Call away the Double Iris. And now one of your Zark pieces are in the graveyard. Uh, one blue boy wants to get to a knowledge. You don't need more. Uh, this doesn't spam the board like Pyrrhon Demian. This is enough. One upstart went into the void. One metal force fusion. As I said, metal force fusion is so well with souls and pen call. You just need it. For those idiots that say, Trip bro, why are you playing a 42 card deck with upstart goblin, man? You're playing Servant of Endymion. You're playing Spell Power Master. You're playing Magical Abductor. If I had an opportunity to play 20 spell cards in a 60 card, I'd play a 60 card deck. If I had an opportunity to play 20 spell cards that says, Draw one card and pay 5,000 life points. I would do it without question. I'll play a 60 card deck and play all the draw cards to make sure that Servant, Abductor, and Mastery will always be drawn and will always have spell counters on them. Very important. Triple Allure. Incredible in this deck. Just banish whatever you don't need. The beauty of playing a second poison and three harmonizing, you're always going to be able to resolve your magicians and you just allure away anything. If I were to take a, a, a triple mastery and six pen call, do not play five pen call. Do not play three pen call, two alliance or some shit. No, no, no. Alliance searches double iris, pen call searches the other ones. That's the what you're trying to do here. If I were to take anything out of this deck and make it absolutely 40 cards, I would take out one purple poison and one magician souls. But at the same time, I think purple poison is such a great card at the moment. Typically, before a different format, purple poison was ass. If you look at the Orcus format with Salaman Great, Pearl Poison didn't do anything. They'll just think Gearsu, they'll just uh, uh, Bane Lynx. They didn't do anything whatsoever. You could play zero Purple Poison and you wouldn't miss it once. But in this specific format, Purple Poison does put in much work. And it could help you clear Boral Savage like nothing. Uh, very easy and to clear lots of different stuff. And clear different interruptions. I'm a fan of Purple Poison in this format. So two is great. Uh, works well with your Time Stars as well. And your whole point going second, you want a Zoologia Zeus away your opponent. So this is the first thing I've seen with extra deck. You guys seen triple time star. It's very important for the extra deck. I'm not even joking. A lot of times you can't go Zark unless you use all three of their effects. Time star is literally not once pretending it's the same. I'll get to the extra deck in a bit, but Zeus is such a broken card that we will be stupid if we don't try and utilize it. Like this card's ridiculous. And the fact that Time Star can be protected with poison, with black fang, like it is just so, so powerful, man. Anyways, let's go to the side deck. Triple sphere, triple lava golem. Triple Dark Lord, Triple Drop, like one Dino Wrestle. You have 13 cards that outright destroy combo decks. Draw any two of the 13 and you win the duel. They'll smoke grenade, well, Inferno will smoke grenade one of your 13 cards. Oh my god, I'm so sad. I have 11 draw cards. I'm going to draw another one or probably two. I'll destroy your whole board and then I'm going to activate one of my four absolute huge 
board wipes. I'm going to activate Mighty Master to clear your whole board. I'm going to activate Access Code to clear your whole board. Oh, you still haven't had enough yet. Time Star, search Mighty Master, blow up the whole board. I'll do it again. Zeus, over Time Star, blow up your whole board or an incredible interruption. Or what about the baby Zark, baby? Smash the Zark on the field, blow up the whole board, attack for game. Later, see ya. Now against Trap Decks, Trap Decks sucks. You don't need too much stuff against them. So one Dino Wrestler, one Feather Duster, one Red Reboot. There's no O for Dragon Pit in this build, despite the fact that those cards being amazing. But for Zark to actually work, this is a Zark deck, not a Pendulum deck. You want Mighty Master Chronograph in the scale to ensure after you blow up your opponent's board, you could still put Zark in the Pendulum Zone. If you're facing some garbage deck that cannot even destroy the Zark effect, which cannot be destroyed by effects or cannot be targeted by effects, uh, so those cards can't be destroyed or targeted. If you're facing one of those garbage decks that can't even defeat one Zark or one Dragoon just because of that non-targeting towers effect, just keep it on the field and you win. On to the extra deck. One Crowley, one Cross Sheep. The Cross Sheep's dual purpose just for being a link to generically and also you could 100% do the absolute Cross Sheep Vortex play as you guys have seen in the comment tutorials already. Double Selene's all you need. The third Selene would literally be the 16th card I would put in because uh, you don't always do the Vortex combo. But I would like a third Selene anyways but you just you don't need it. Abomination is absolutely vital for this combo. It ensures that you can put the Zark in the scale. Uh, I would not play this deck without Abomination. Zark on the monster zone doesn't do anything going first. Axis Code Talker, because we might as well play 19 board wipes instead of 14. Okay. Triple Time Star. You actually are some hands where you need th all three Time Stars. The fact that you Time Star, Time Star, search two cards, uh, you could double Selene and put two monsters and go third Time Star, and then uh, you have three Dark Spellcasts as you search. So two of them could be two Chronograph Sorcerers and one of the, or sorry, like, yeah, two Chronograph Sorcerers and a, a, the Magician you're missing, and then you scale one Chronograph Sorcerer, Time Gazer, Chrono, Special, the other one. Uh, you know, like, it, it's really cool you could do with three of them. Uh, in retrospect, there was one hand where I needed the three Time Stars, uh, otherwise I couldn't do Zark, uh, so I would recommend three. If you really need to, you could take the third Time Star for uh, XYZ for going second, like Dark Rebellion, but why do you need Dark Rebellion? when Zeus is legal. So this is the ultimate go second rank four card. You don't need any of them, just play Time Star. The idea of it, you just search and you destroy them. It's just ridiculous how broken this card is. Like, it's just insane. Like every pendulum deck I'm gonna play moving forward, I'm gonna at least try and play Magicians, so I can try and play Time Star and try and play Zo Zeus. Like, you get a plus one, you get the card you're missing, you protect it, if your opponent tries to destroy it by a poison and black fang, it's broken, it'll always resolve the attack, Thir which monster? This is a 3600 attack. Obviously, it'll destroy something. And then you just Zeus over and destroy the whole field. Oh my god, it's broken. Uh, Absolute Vortex comes up. Zark comes up. Meteor Burst is actually super clutch. Shout out to the one person on my stream yesterday who said, Trip, you should try Meteor Burst. And I thought about it. It makes Time Gazer legitimately like any one of these because it lets allows you to scale these and summon it up. Also, fear it frees up the zone, which is vital for when you're trying to put uh, the Zark in the scale. Very important. And Savage Dragon, because there are going to be some hands where you cannot put up Zark, and that is totally fine. Because the hands you can't put up Zark, you're drawing your, your Jackals, your Masters, your Negates. So the hands you don't put up Zark, you're putting up Jackal, Mighty Master, Vortex, Savage Dragon. So I'm down. And when people say, oh, Dark Ruler, bro! Well, your opponent can activate actual monster effects from the extra deck, so let them Dark Ruler me all my all they want. I couldn't care less. That's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed the comp tutorials. I'm gonna give another shout out here to my YouTube channel, baby. So smash the subscribe button. I almost have 40,000 subscribers. If you have 40,000 subscribers, when I release the sickest content you guys have ever seen. Also, big shout out to the current sponsor of this video, and that is MetaMats. So if you guys want to get your sickest mats, 10% off, go get them down below. Also, check out the amazing links down below, where we have amazing mats, Patreon, everything. Check that out, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget, guys, don't forget that Pen is the best deck. Zark is the best deck. Let's go, baby! We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Yeah, yeah.